My name is Istvan Sapadosh. I'm a lawyer at DSC Legal, a co-founding partner of our law firm. We are uh, 16 people and six lawyers all together, and my co-founding partner Peter and I, we are also notaries public. Um, we have founded the uh, DSC Legal in 2010, so we're almost uh, more than seven years old. Um, we are focusing almost entirely on real estate because before our so to say, uh, experience with our own law firm. We used to work for larger companies, and larger big law firms, international law firms. And uh, we took it privately, so to say, in, in, in our own company uh, together with our clients. And, but we would provide the same service as in uh, bigger law firms. That's our intention, to provide a full 360 degree service for our clients, uh, be it uh, when it comes to development, real estate transactions, um, banking finance that is related to the financing of a transaction, um, advising on the corporate structure. Uh, we also cooperate with the tax advisor who is providing tax structure, which is very important. And uh, if we act as a notaries, which is of course uh, something we cannot do in the same matter, we have to work either as, as uh, legal advisors or as a notaries, then we can notarize uh, sale and purchase agreements uh, for condominiums or uh, partition declarations if you want to split buildings into condominiums and things like that or share deals. That, that's the uh, competence of a notary. And this is what we are doing uh, for clients uh, all over the world. We have a, a quite massive international client base. Uh, our work consists of, let's say, 60% or even 80% in the legal advice. Uh, we used to work in the English language, um, in the notarial service area. It's rather the German language that is required. And that is one of our unique selling points, I guess, as a firm that uh, we are even, though we are pretty small as a firm, as a, a boutique law firm, we have this international focus and um, provide service for international clients who invest here in Germany which uh, makes, uh, takes us apart a bit from, from other firms of the same size who are more have a local uh, brand and, and uh, don't have this international focus. Germany is, is um, one of those spots in the world, I would say, that are uh, for many years very attractive for investors who would like to invest in real estate. Um, it's uh, in interesting and attractive for many reasons. Uh, there we have a very stable uh, legal environment and political environment. And uh, apart from that, the economy is really booming for a couple of years now. We have very low unemployment rates. It's as low as 5.5%. Uh, um, young people have good uh, prospects when they finish universities, so they find a good job. And uh, Germany altogether is the number one um, spot for foreign direct investments Europe-wide. I think it took over the UK very recently. And um, it's, it's um, a very attractive investment market uh, for, for foreign companies. And especially also in the real estate um, uh, branch or area because um, uh, the real estate sector is, is uh, facing a huge demand of space on the one hand. So the business is booming, uh, companies need to take up uh, uh, office space a lot. And also Germany, the number of inhabitants is, is uh, increasing, not only due to refugees, but also to other migrants who come from uh, countries with a very good educational background. And uh, for example, Berlin um, is, is growing by in the last years by 80,000 to 100,000 inhabitants per year, which means like a, with a small city is added each year to Berlin. And that makes a huge demand for real estate products like offices, uh, apartments, um, retail space, uh, hotels, um, etc. And according to this market uh, development, the high demand, uh, you can see also the prices uh, rising and this is a boom that lasts now for a very long period already and everybody expected it would uh, stop uh, even before. 
uh, but um, the youngest analysts uh, that I read, uh, they are even expecting that it will take at least until the end of the decade, uh, or um, it may take even longer before it slows down or stops. So there is still plenty of way to go for investors. You have uh, good uh, uh, interesting yield producing uh, uh, property investments and also a big need for development. So it's also the time for uh, construction companies, developers, to come to Berlin, to Germany, and um, to develop new apartment buildings or office space. Yes, of course, there's a, the German legal culture is, of course, very different to other legal cultures. We uh, have a, a, a tendency to be very meticulous, and, and not only ourselves, but also the administration and the courts and the registers, and this is sometimes surprising that certain legal mechanisms don't function as quickly as they are probably uh, used to in their home countries, but on the other hand there is a very big reliability in the transactions. And uh, uh, how we achieve this kind of legal reliability is, is by uh, way of a proper due diligence that is nowadays, I guess, uh, common standard. Uh, if you uh, enter into economically and also legally challenging transactions, uh, this is where you need the services of a specialized law firm who knows the uh, uh, up-to-date uh, legal environment, the uh, applicable regulations and all the case law that is attached to it. Um, in addition to that, I would say many foreign investors don't have um, uh, a, a fully established network if any network at all in Germany, so we are their first point of contact very often. And we co can uh, make use of our own network, be it uh, a network if they are looking for properties to brokers, being our network to local banks, of course, if they need financing. And in the current uh, interest market and the current way, uh, uh, mark banking market, it's a very interesting thing to have uh, financing for many transactions um, and finally also for technical experts if you do a due diligence um, and, and tax advisors if you want to structure a transaction in a tax efficient way uh, in order to maximize the yield and the output it can have and the commercial success. So that's why I believe it's uh, very important to be with a good team right, uh, uh, to start with a good team right from the beginning and this is something we can provide through our network in addition to our legal services, which are of course expected to be of first class and, and the competence that, that can be expected from a professionalized uh, boutique law firm. Uh, we are headline sponsors. We decided to support this, uh, this, this event of Raya Global uh, here in Berlin, of course, because it's our own hometown and we wanted to make it a really good experience for all the participants and wanted to make the most out of this network, um, uh, so potentially the most. So we wanted to show all the participants uh, interesting uh, projects. We invited uh, uh, to a tour uh, of uh, the story of Berlin. It's a museum in the building where our office is situated. So um, all the colleagues had the chance to get a little bit of a glimpse of the Berlin history, which is very colorful, of course. And uh, second, uh, it was an opportunity for us, which we are very grateful to invite all the people to our office and to show them our office, um, the great view, and to talk about possibilities to work together um, in, a next, in a nice location uh, with the buffet. And uh, in the real estate breakout sessions uh, that uh, we hosted today, we invited um, colleagues to uh, our landlord actually, who is um, uh, in the process of developing the whole block where our office is situated, uh, into a very exciting project with many, many uh, square feet, um, square meters of uh, multi-purpose use especially residential hotels and theaters there. So it was exciting to see uh, and a nice example of a project that fits our city so well. Uh, and after that, uh, we had our breakout sessions and everybody enjoyed uh, to 
indeed break out from the hotel uh, rooms a bit and in the hotel vicinity to see um, a bit more of the city and, and uh, outside and uh, uh, to make connections within the network that hopefully lead to a better understanding what we can, how we can help each other to promote our business and, and to facilitate the referral that is the main, main object of this network. In the past we had the opportunity to work for foreign clients who came from Belgium. It was a Belgian company who invested in nursing homes, in, uh, in real estate, into Germany. And they had a structure, uh, a corporate structure and also tech structure that involved companies to be set up in Luxembourg, special purpose vehicles. So we invited our colleague Stefan Ebel in Luxembourg to uh, assist us and uh, it was a very great help from Stefan because it was not only that he provided the necessary corporate work and it was very easy going when we established the contact. Uh, it was a very fast process uh, to, to agree with the client on the engagement letters and to agree on the terms we are working. Uh, but also uh, when it was uh, uh, vacation time and in Luxembourg everybody apparently is away in August so it was very difficult to find uh, notaries over there who were able to actually manage to have the deal signed that we assisted on and Stefan was uh, great because he established through his personal contacts a very short cut to a notary due to his personal knowledge and everything was perfectly then organized then. So that was an excellent example how a network uh, could uh, provide the assistance that you need in cross-border transactions and um, especially when you then also see not only on the telephone but also make a very nice personal acquaintance and it's a very sympathetic approach and it was a very good working relationship.